Welcome to Piney Run Park. Today I'll be going over a plan and proper procedures for safe boating on Piney Run Lake. Boaters, whether they be boat renters or fishermen launching their private boats, make up a large portion of our park's patronage and subsequently the main activity on this site. Uh, all too often, boat renters are not aware of the implications of ill preparedness and are involved in accidents. Uh, injury and accidents occur often due to boaters' lack of awareness, and it's our job as managers to eliminate this issue uh, as best we can and ensure that our park's amenities are, are used with the utmost safety in mind. Uh, this is done by providing the proper resources to use, develop a plan and outline for safe use of facilities. First thing to do before you're going out uh, is to check the weather. This could be done through the use of a smartphone, newspaper, or uh, weather monitoring services in your area. Uh, it is extremely unsafe to participate in aquatic activities when thunder or lightning is detected or any sort of threat of natural disaster. Uh, so if weather permits, one should then be aware of the following items and needs. Uh, hydration, one, uh, especially on a hot day, one can quickly become dehydrated. This can result in heat stroke or even hypothermia. Uh, second would be food. Properly nourishing yourself and all participants will prevent fatigue and disorientation, which can also prove to be detrimental when you're far from shore. Uh, a map. Having a map of the body of water will help the boater know where he or she is and will allow for safe travel. And last one here, personal flotation device. In the event that a boater capsizes, having a PFD will allow one to float for the duration of the time in the water with ease. Accidents and drowning often happen when someone is confident in their swimming abilities and chooses not to wear a life jacket. Uh, so with that said, it is better to have a PFD and not need one than the other way around. Uh, once you have decided that you have all these necessary pieces of equipment, uh, you should then check your uh, watercraft. Checking the watercraft includes checking for uh, holes, cracks, and uh, loose screws. If there's a paddling mechanism or oars, make sure those are intact and operational before your departure. Uh, when the boat... Finally, check for a drain plug. Large metal boats are often equipped with holes that drain water when not in use, but are plugged by a drain plug when in use. So make sure before you go out on the water that that plug is securely fastened in the boat. Uh, and with that, taking these proactive measures will severely minimize the chance of injury or accident on the water.